Good afternoon everybody, it's your boy Death Row here again, quickly going over the Daphne install. Okay, now that you've extracted the files onto your hard drive, right click copy that, make sure you are on your external drive. This is an uh, external drive here, right click and paste. Okay, once everything has copied over, let's want to double check what's here. I will not be doing it from here, I'm going to do it here. You'll go into the emulators directory on your external and you'll see this here. Go into there, right, control A, go copy. Now you go on to your internal drive on the shield. Go to RetroArc. Go to Downloads and paste simple as that now also what you want to do on your external drive that i will be showing you on later in the video how to obtain the number is you go into make sure i'm on the right drive hyperspin go into roms go into Daphne. Now the Daphne folder will contain another folder called frame file. Go into frame file. See all these files here? Example Dragon's Lair that seems to be the one that we're uh, showcasing later in the video. Go there. Now see the this code here? This That is what you need to put in the path. Nice and simple. Do that for every file in there. Now, uh, I'm showing you later in the video how to get that. And that's it, folks. Simple as that. You've got Daphne up and running. So what we'll do is we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Well, actually, this isn't the end of the video, so... <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean. It's There's going to be a part two. I'm going to merge it together. Anyway, folks. Thank you. Okay, now I'm on the NVIDIA Shield. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the applications. Now, there's certain applications you can't get anymore, and there's some that, you know, that other people use. This is what I use to find my serial number. So I go to Apps. I installed File Explorer. Go to Hyperspin. Now, see on the left-hand side there, you got that that serial number type code that is the thing that you put into the configuration files nice and simple and easy okay we'll back out of there remember you've already copied everything that's where you get the the code from you're now going to go to RetroArch Okay, we're in RetroArc, go to online, go to load core, go up, install or restore a core, go, enter that, and since I've removed the Daphne one already, the Daphne one will be there available for you, there it is actually there, hit A on it, and it's going to install it, back out of RetroArc, and quit RetroArc, now, if you followed all these instructions perfectly, it's, it's fire. Don't laugh. I've been chopping a lot out of mine because there's a lot of stuff. I'm probably going to get rid of half of these as well. See, so there's a missing one there. That's okay though. I'll fix that up. You got Daphne there. What shall we have a look at? Dragon's Lair. Right. Okay, let's have a look at Dragon's Lair. As you can see there, it loads up. Now, how you put credits in with Dragon's, Dragon's Lair? Dragon's Lair, the fantasy adventure where you become a valiant in. knight on a quest to... There we go. That's the left thumbstick. Same start button as usual. 
And here we go. I use the D-pad for controls. Well, it, it, it works sometimes. See, it didn't work that time. That's because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> See, it's working now. Oh, we're doing the rackets, folks. As you can see there, it, it's working. Now, if you followed my instructions exactly how I had them, you should get success. But anyway, folks, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.